The new book, Peril, by Bob Woodward and Robert Costa does not stand alone. We should see it in the context of so many other books that have documented the outrageous and destructive things that Trump was doing at the end of his term to advance the big lie and stay in office. What does it teach us about Trump? First, the revelation of General Milley that Donald Trump, who was never stable in the first place, see the books by his niece Mary, would start a war to advance the big lie. It's all reminiscent of the early but ill-fated conversations about removing him under the 25th Amendment. Connecting the dots, the Peril book shows us what many commentators have said was an attempt to reverse the election, effectively a coup. Think Tech Hawaii had a talk show, On Politics for the People, to discuss the revelations of the Peril book and how they connect to suggest that Trump would stop at nothing to seize the government. And we all know the mess and the landmines he and his co-conspirators intentionally left for Joe Biden. There are many facts still to find, but the open legal question is accountability. Not only for the insurrection, but for all the things Trump and his acolytes did to undermine the government, and all the thousands of lies and abuses and the corruption he gave us during his term. So far, with open support from McCarthy McConnell and the Republican Party, he has shamelessly escaped two impeachment trials and any prosecution. Assuming these revelations are true, and it certainly seems they are, shouldn't Trump be tried for his crimes against the country? Will he get away with it? If he does and if he is ultimately somehow able to come back into power, we need to ask ourselves what will happen to the country, and to us. It's terrifying even to think about it. Books, like Peril, are an important corollary to the newspapers, in their reporting and their outlook. Books like Peril can give us a drill-down and often more authoritative look at what was going on, especially in the chaos Trump created. Books like Peril should be more important and worth reading in these troubled times, when it is critical for us to get a handle on history as it is unfolding, or as some say, unraveling. These books teach us the dimensions and dynamics of the sea changes that are affecting and threatening us, and may offer some insight about what has happened and what is happening, and some counsel as to what we can do about it, if anything.